What's up, everyone? Welcome to State Philly Sports History for August 20th, 2023. I'm your host, Jim Montgomery. Good win for the Phils yesterday. They slept walk through the first six, woke up in the seventh to tie it, and then had the big eight-run eighth inning. Trey Turner becoming the first Philly to hit two home runs in the same inning since Von Hayes did it back in 1985. Um, overall, though, the, the good win for the team. Uh, Sanchez pitched very, very well. Um, to keep them in the game and it's just they it's kind of hit or miss with this team but I like you can never necessarily count them out I like the fact that they have these big innings in them that's going to serve them well going into the postseason uh, speaking of postseason they're currently three and a half up in the wild card two on the Giants with that big series starting this week they are in action tonight in Williamsport for the Little League Classic I think they call it but it's always cool for for them and for the kids when they play up in Williamsport. So hopefully they can get the win tonight, take that series against the Nats, and look forward to our matchup with our old pal Gabe Kapler and the Giants with uh, huge wildcard implications on the line. But good win, good inning, way to not give up. And again, I keep saying it, but I like this team. There's a lot of fight in this team. They're, They're a lot of fun. And you can never necessarily count them out. So that yesterday's game is just a good, good reminder of that. All right, Union took third place in the League's Cup. We've been following them throughout uh, with a three-nil win over Monterey down at Subaru Park. They get back in action now with their regular MLS schedule with the playoff push coming. Uh, big win for the Media Little League World Series team. Uh, they won five to three. They will play Rhode Island this morning in a couple hours uh, to see if they can continue the, to move on throughout the consolation brackets. Uh, Delco was going crazy from all the things I saw on the news and in the newspaper today. So it's pretty cool. Love one uh, local team. So hopefully they can continue on and, and play more meaningful baseball uh, this coming week. Uh you want to celebrate Delco? Go to phillygoat.com. They have Delco shirts. They have Philly neighborhood shirts that, along with all your other regular sports teams apparel, uh, we still have plenty of time to get your orders in the Kelly Green jerseys to have them here for the Eagles opener. Uh, you want to get ready for. The Phillies postseason run or the Union postseason run, be sure to check them out. You want to get stickers for your kids' water bottles or your back window of your car, whatever the case may be they have. Go check them out. Be sure to use the promo code Jim Montgomery at checkout for 10% off your order. Helps me out, helps you out, helps them out, and that's all you can do. Uh, but they do have Delco gear on there, so go check it out. Uh, Eagles cut Greedy Williams yesterday, um, and I don't necessarily think that's a sh- shocker. Uh, just with what you've seen in the uh, preseason, they had signed him sort of on one of those prove-it deals anyway. Uh, they did place Tyree Cleveland, Zach McPherson on waivers. Both of them are injured, and they fully expect them to clear waivers, come back on the team, and be placed on IR. They had to make this move for roster reasons because they need the roster spots. Um, they also, it looks like Aaron Sipsis is going to be the punter, which, um, I don't necessarily think there's any surprise there. Neither. I, it's tough. I think you got to look at a lot of what happens in practice with punters and kickers because it, I didn't really notice either one, one way or the other. Uh, but that's our Phil, or Eagles update for today. No new news on the James Harden front. I know there's been more and more, and I don't know if it's just speculation, people throwing things out there, um, but the, it seems like they're starting to become more and more James or uh, Joel Embiid kind of trade chatter. Um, so we'll see. Like the last I saw, it was, I think it was Wojnowski put it out there, but that uh, secretly Daryl Morey is hoping that James or uh, Joel Embiid asked to be traded so they can start a rebuild. Again, they're not coming out and saying anything, so who knows if that's true. Uh, Wouldn't necessarily be surprised. I mean, I think at this point, I'm kind of moving more and more into the blow it up camp and start over fresh, uh, process part two, if you will. Uh, But nothing yet, so we continue to wait for the Sixers' response to all of this. 
But today, we're going to go back to 1961. And on this date, August 20th, 1961, the Phillies lost game one of a doubleheader to the Milwaukee Braves 5-2. to two. It was their fit, or 23rd straight loss, which is the team record, but also is the largest winning or losing streak, I should say, in Philadelphia baseball history. Uh, when they lost Game One, they passed the Oakland Ath- or the Philadelphia Athletics, who lost 22 straight uh, back in the early 18 or late 1890s. Uh, the streak was not long lived. After that, they it ended later that day when they beat the Braves seven to four in Game Two. It was their first win since July 28th. So they went almost a full month without winning a game. Needless to say, that team was terrible. 47 and 107, 46 games back, which is just ridiculous. Uh, but they were three years away from that magical 1964 run. So it wasn't all doom and gloom. But on this day, the Phillies set the record for their longest losing streak in franchise and Philadelphia baseball history with 23 straight, but then later that day ended it by beating the Braves 7-4. to All right, today's 31 questions in 31 days. It's a package deal, and we're going to look at the veterans on the line, Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox, and basically are they going to be able to continue to perform at the level they have been? Um, and I both are going to be free agents at the end of the year. And truthfully, I don't see any reason why they won't. I mean, they provide that veteran leadership. They are basically the the old heads on the <clears throat> excuse me defense that everybody's looking up to. And, I mean, they're hyped about what they're seeing from Jalen Carter. They're hyped from what they're seeing about all the guys that the young guys are, who are going to take that mantle or and pass it on and, and really step up. And I think because there's so much depth on that line, there's no reason to think that they can't do it. I mean, Brandon Graham had his best season, arguably, as a professional last year. Um, So who knows, I I mean, how much they have as long as they can stay healthy. And the fact that they're going to be rotating in so much, there's no reason to believe that they won't stay healthy. Um, I I still think the sky's the limit and the, the way they are going to be able to have that rotation there's no reason to think that they can't come in and, and be part of a rotation and provide some guidance to the young guys, but also production on the field. They're, they're fully capable, and I expect them to be productive players this year. Uh, so definitely looking forward to what they have. By the way, I'm still looking for the Kelly Green Branding Graham jersey, the official one. So if you can see it out there, you know where I can get one. Let me know. Hit me up in the comments. <clears throat> Send me a message. Whatever you need to do, I need to get my hand on one of those Brandon Graham Kelly Green jerseys. But I, as I mentioned, I fully expect them to do well and be an integral part of the defense this year. Uh, after this year, who knows? Like You don't know what the contract situation, health, what they want to do even. I know uh, th- Brandon was uh, interviewed on the preseason game the other night. Uh, didn't really hint at anything, but you can tell he's he's publicly said before he would like to retire here. So maybe this is it for him. Send him out with his on a swan song. Um, who knows? But as far as I'm concerned, he still is responsible for the greatest moment in Philadelphia sports history with the strip sack. All right. On this day, the Phillies extended their losing streak to 23 straight games before finally winning the second game of the doubleheader, snapping it. But they still finished almost as many games back as wins they had that year. Uh, f- speaking of the Phils, though, they're looking to win that series today against the Nationals up in Williamsport. Looking forward to that. Union looking forward to getting back into their regular MLS schedule. Uh, no new news on the James Harden front, but it's a volatile situation, and that could always change. I could get done recording here and have breaking news. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day in the area. Go enjoy your Sunday. This has been This Day in Philly Sports History. I'm Jim Montgomery, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.